What's the one thing a physician should know when they receive an offer letter for a new job? I'm Erin Jackson with Jackson LLP Healthcare Lawyers. You've gone through the rigorous interview process and finally the offer came from your first choice physician. The only thing is the salary isn't exactly where you'd like. So you review the offer letter and within its terms it says that a contract will be forthcoming. So if you sign it, then you'll receive the contract. And you assume that at that point, you'll hire an attorney to help you negotiate your employment contract. So while the salary is not where you like, you sign it anyway, and you figure that this will be negotiable down the road. Unfortunately, when it does come time to negotiate your contract and we vigorously work to negotiate that salary that was disappointing when you first saw it, typically, the practice or the hospital will balk and say, you've already agreed to this salary. You sign the offer letter and there's no way we're negotiating that. So as a cautionary tale, uh, the best time to hire an attorney to help you negotiate the terms of your employment is when you receive the offer letter and before you return it. Um, as the adage goes, if they want you at the dollar amount they're offering, they will probably want you at a little bit more too or they'll be willing to give you a little bit of time. So as soon as you get that offer letter, celebrate and then call us and then we can assist you through the next steps, uh, in, including ensuring there's a goodness of fit between you and the practice, meaning you're getting what you need and the practice is getting what they need, which is you. For tips about staying compliant, subscribe to our YouTube channel.